Hey there, Jim and Cindy here from Out of Pocket. Today we're going to make another upgrade to the van. This time it involves storage. We've got a big trip coming up and we need places to put stuff. And I have a lot of stuff to put things. Yes, you do. Yes. Always need, can't have enough storage. No, you can't. So today we're going to take a crack at installing the van essentials, rear storage, cargo door storage panels, basically to replace these stock panels, top and bottom, with storage units. It's a rainy day outside, so we decided we're going to put these together inside our garage, so it's a little cramped, but it should work. Tight quarters, but be excited to have these on there. We've been looking at things like this for a while. A few companies make them. I felt, after looking at the options, the Van Essentials were really the best balance of functionality and value. So let's see how they work. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. The first thing I'm noticing looking at these panels, this is the stock panel. I popped the caps off to expose the screws, but this is quite a bit smaller. Does this even cover up the screw holes? It's not, not really that clear yet. So this is the insulation. People talk about this. Some people have reported that their vans don't have much insulation in these doors. So that's one thing I want to check as we pop off the panels is how's the insulation. Some people even upgrade this. We don't live in our van. I don't think we need to upgrade it. That looks pretty good to me. Okay, that's how it fits. It does cover up the indentation, for sure, but it's not going to cover up the old drill holes, unfortunately. It'll certainly still be useful, but it's a little disappointing to have that stuff showing. I see they have some plugs here on the factory van. Maybe we can find something that will go in those holes to plug that up in a similar way. But for now, that's what the install will look like. I see there was some foil on the back of this one. I'm going to try to get that off and put it on the back of the new one before I install it here. There, it looks like we're able to just tuck it back in there. Barely fits. But it should be should be good. That's the new panel right on top of that. I got the first hole drilled up in the corner. They suggest you have a drill stop. I didn't have one, so I put some tape on the end of this drill bit just to give me a guide so I don't go too deep. And now we've decided to mount it so the bottom holes are hidden and only the top holes will be visible. Maybe we can find a decorative strip or something to put up there and hide those. So now I have my first hole drilled. I use these little sheet metal things to start securing it. I'll put that in, drill the next hole, and so on. Should be easier now that two are in. Six sheet metal screws. That seems adequate. That'll hold it. You can't see the holes on the bottom. You need to do something about the top. That one's done. Let's take a crack at the bottom panel. And try to pry these off. This is like an interior molding tool for a car. Hopefully it will work. Huh, perfect. That's what they are. We have that panel off. Maybe this is what people are talking about, the insulation. There's a very thin piece here. A lot of air space all over here. You don't want to interfere with the spring mechanism, but down here there's a piece. But it doesn't go down here, it doesn't go over here. Look at all that. So I'm going to see if we have some closed cell foam that we can put in here and supplement this little this piece, which doesn't really seem like it's enough. We just finished scraping around to see what we had for closed cell foam type insulation. Uh, we had some polyester batting. We didn't want to put the pink uh, stuff in there. We didn't have any rock wool. Some people use this caves wool or something. Um, we didn't have any of that. But basically from this area down was barely insulated. You had this piece of foam, and from here down was also totally uninsulated. So we jammed it up with what we had around. Again, we don't live in the thing, but it should be better than what it was. Now we're going to mount this panel. Seems like it's going to fit right into that groove. So same process, drill, and put in those sheet metal screws. All right, one's in. 
interesting the difference between the video online and the instructions I got here is online they say on this edge to use a thicker drill bit where the instructions say use the same size drill bit for everything. I tried a small drill bit and it broke. So I don't know if the steel is a little thicker somehow yeah. on this inside edge, but I had to go to a larger drill bit and be really slow. So I'll try that corner with the smaller one again and we'll see what that what that does. Smaller one worked just fine. Same to. Got it? Yeah. Okay. There we go. Couple in. Now just repeat the process around the circle and this one will be on. The other interesting thing was on the online um, video, it says that, or in the instructions, it says that these panels can be reversed between the two doors, but yet they came labeled. This one said right, but we put it on the left, but it seems to fit fine, so looks like they're interchangeable from what I can see. This one's in. Definitely a harder time drilling along here. This hole, I don't know if it's related to the bracket, of the door, but something's in there. You could not put this screw all the way in. So this actually broke two screws and two drill bits in this area. This screw is one that I broke, so it's just a shorter screw now. It's able to get in that hole, so there isn't a hole in the nylon, but something to be careful of along that edge. Harder metal and things in behind. All four panels are now installed. The second two panels were a lot faster based on what we learned with the first two panels. Regarding the upper panels, that went very smoothly. The instructions that came with it were good. The online video was also good. The only thing I encountered was in one case I was going to drill a hole, but there was already a hole underneath. So I had to end up moving it, so be aware of that. The instructions for the lower panel that come with it are not, uh, not accurate. It says to use a 3 32nd drill bit. That works fine for most of the holes, but along this in inside edge on both doors, I broke two of those drill bits. I went to a 5 32nd drill bit, which is what they call out on the online video for this side of the panel. And even then, when I tried to put in several of these sheet metal screws, I sheared them off. So I had to take some time trying to drill around that, get the pieces out with pliers. So I went to even a slightly larger drill bit than that before I could get these inner ones to work properly on the other door. So that's the, a lesson learned. These instructions are not alone adequate, the online video. Um, and we did reverse them, despite what, um, what it said and the way we were labeled. So, but they look nice. I'm happy with how the install came out. Um, but those are a few lessons learned if you're going to tackle this one yourself. And now we have storage, lots of storage. What I love about this is it's using an area that wouldn't ordinarily be used on the van. And we can store some of our things that don't fit in a lot of different places. You can see here we were able to hang up our biking helmets. These are some cool things that Jim found that we can hang up on the pole in the back and put these little hooks up there and you can hang off wet clothes, wet things, let them dry in the air. This is the coolest little thing. This is a, a storage area that right now we've got the chargers for the e-bikes put in here, but it, it creates a nice little shelf. We're kind of excited about seeing what else we can put in here and so forth. Over here, we put I put in my biking gloves. We have some trash bags. The sky's the limit. And over here, we have room for more helmets, climbing helmets. We've got room for shoes, climbing shoes, running shoes, biking shoes. We also put some bear spray because you never know where you're going to end up and when you might need that. So pretty much you have space for all kinds of different things. We made good use of a rainy day to install this upgrade. So what do you think? I like it. I think this is a great upgrade for the van. Um, the rear doors basically do nothing unless you install something like this on them. As usual, the project was more complicated than I expected. It looks so easy with the instructions, but several broken drill bits, some sheared sheet metal screws, fighting with pliers to get broken screws back out. But it's in, and it looks good now, and we have some lessons learned that hopefully we've been able to share with you. And maybe next time we'll let you know how this van drives with helmets in the back. Could should, be interesting. Should be fun. <laughs> <laughs> so if you found this to be interesting and useful, feel free to like and subscribe. Please do. 
We really appreciate it. And comment on the video if you have some suggestions Absolutely. or observations of your own. Any storage ideas, that would be awesome. Yeah. Till then, we'll see you next time. Thanks again. See you next time.